architecture, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me with his holy, holy, holy hill, on his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me. O my God, for you, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger. For your errors are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery, and I am utterly bowed down. I go all day long with a sad face, for my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me and my near of kin stand far off, and those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear, and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For, you, for in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear me. O Lord my God, for I said, Let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live, and are become stronger than I. And those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repay me evil for good slander me, because I pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, do not depart from me. Give me heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in the desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to, to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings, I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. If they seek for my soul in vain, they shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised, for the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. Is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God, my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you and find your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave, whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand, 
Then they be in the lowest pit, in dark places and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your pillows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O oh Lord, I cried to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will all physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in your forgotten land? But I cry to you, O oh Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They encompass me like water all the day long. They surround me at once. You remove far from me neighbor and friend and my acquaintances because of my misery. O oh Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O oh Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wrong. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, to the Lord, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us. He remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, who do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was anguished within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old, and I meditated on your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from your flank enemies, O Lord. For to you I flee your refuge. Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of righteousness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me light in your righteousness. You shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do 
not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
will be exalted. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you shut the kingdom of heaven against men, for you neither enter yourselves nor allow those who would enter to go in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you traverse sea and land to make a single proselyte, and when he becomes a proselyte, you make him twice as much a child of Gehenna as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, if anyone swears by the temple, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gold of the temple, he is bound by his oath. You blind fools, for which is greater, the gold or the temple that is made the gold sacred? And you say, if anyone swears by the altar, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gift that is on the altar, he is bound by his oath. You blind men, for which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? So he who swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it. And he who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. And he who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who sits upon it. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. These you ought to have done without neglecting the others. You blind guide straining out a mat and swallowing a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cleanse the outside of the cup and of the plate, but inside they are full of extortion and rapacity. You blind Pharisee, first cleanse the inside of the cup and of the plate, that the outside also may be clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful, but within they are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. So you also outwardly appear to men, but within you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the monuments of the righteous, saying, If we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you witness against yourselves that you are the sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your fathers, you serpents, you brood of vipers, How are you to escape being sentenced to Gehenna? Therefore I send you prophets and wise men and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will scourge in your synagogues and persecute from town to town, that upon you may come all righteous blood shed on the earth, from the blood of the innocent Zacharias, the son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly I say to you, all this will come upon this generation. Well, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, killing the prophets and stoning those who are sent to you. How often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you would not. Behold, your house is forsaken and desolate. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, Lord. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, 
and I will be cleansed. He shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. He shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create me, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your, with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and an ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you desire sacrifice, I will give it. You will not be pleased with all burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A, a broken and humble heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, and with offerings and a whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. Yet again, peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Father Daniel of, of Perez Yaslavo, 
Zaleski. On this day, we commemorate the holy new martyrs George and Aquilina, the fools for Christ, of Rabrichka, who were slain by the atheists in the year 1918. By the intercession of thy saints, O Christ God, have mercy on us. Amen. O bridegroom Christ, number us with the wise virgins and include us in your ch chosen flock and have mercy on us. Amen. The free righteous servants did not obey the impious decree of the time, and they were cast into the furnace of fire where they stood confessing God. Make singing words of the Lord, ever bless the Lord. Glory to you, glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us
one that judges what is good? Who is the one that judges what is in the best interest of mankind? It is, it is not us. Clearly, because anytime we consider something that is good, especially when things bad, bad are happening to us, we're saying, I don't want it. And so, in our weakness, we look at God and say, why, Lord? Why is this bad thing happening to me or to my family or to whoever? And indeed, Isaiah actually continues in other places where he, where he talks about the God does evil. And there, he said this, this, this theme keeps coming back. Now, does God in this passage do evil to everyone? No. He does not bring about or bring evil upon everyone. In fact, in the gospel, he says, this, this gospel tonight, which is probably one of the hardest ones for me to read, because every time I read it, I am chastised. He says, the man who exalts himself will be humble. Any person that is going to raise themselves up is going to be cut down. So, why this week? Why are we talking about it this week? I'll get to that question in a second. But just understand that that's going to be coming in, 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 at the end of this. This idea of cutting down the crowd, because that's what this is, it seems very harsh by the Lord. But remember, at all points in time, God is trying to bring us to repentance. There is not a single individual walking the face of this earth by which repentance is not required. It is the ticket to get you into heaven, folks. There is no other way to get in. You can't ride anything. Anyone that says, I'm good, I'm good enough. That's what the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the Herodians and everyone else that came to Christ thought. I'm good enough. The scribes, <laughs> just read this gospel if you think you're good enough. It doesn't matter. God brings about equity. He brings about the most equality to all individuals. That's why St. Paul says there is no Jew nor Greek. There is no slave nor free. There is no male nor female. He's, he's doing it all. We all need repentance. To the righteous, it is easy to repent. Not because they have fewer sins, but because they are already in the mode of cleansing themselves from their sin. No one is without sin. The righteous individual is the one who has learned to repent from their sins, who does not come to the Lord proud, proud, who is like the publican who kneels before God, beating his chest, saying, Have mercy upon me, a sinner. To the proud, repentance is evil. Because it's the exact opposite of everything that they want to be. So why, again, does God bring evil? Because in that state of unrighteousness, an individual whose life is going well and who is getting reaped upon them, blessing upon blessing upon blessing, because that's what we want. An unrighteous person may not be aware of their sin if they are allowed to remain blessed the way we think everyone should be blessed. 
money, give them more things, give them more this, give them more help. How would an unrighteous person perceive that? All things are great. God is blessing me. I have no need for repentance. I'm going to keep going. I must be doing something great, says the proud person. And so it is not for anything else but within the love of God that maybe if an evil thing visits them or something that we might consider bad, maybe their soul and spirit may be woken to repentance. It doesn't always happen. But it's an opportunity. And it sometimes it does work. This is what this passage is about. And this is, by the way, one of the passages that the King James Version and that the Hebrew text has taken out of the Bible. If you read the King James Version Bible and you go to Isaiah 26, verse 15, which is where this comes from, you will not. They have removed it. Because it was the Jews that crucified Christ. And they don't want to be chastised by the Christians. And so they removed it from their Bible. It's there. This is the Septuagint. If you look at any online version or whatever, go get any other Bible. 2615 Isaiah, you will not find it. In the OSB, in the Orthodox Study Bible, it will be because we've taken it right from the oldest text that we have, which is the Greek. But why now? Why are we bringing this up now? Why, of all times, should we be bringing up the idea of the proud and how God should visit them with evil? was repentance in the Garden of Eden, Eden, this would never have happened. And it's not blaming Adam and Eve. The church fathers have said it. If Adam and Eve would have repented of their sin instead of blaming each other and blaming the serpent, we might still be in paradise. But they didn't. What did they do? They didn't take responsibility. They didn't say, I'm sorry. They didn't ask for forgiveness. They didn't turn away from their transgression. No. Boom. It's her fault. E. It's the serpent's fault. Their lack of repentance, in addition to the transgression, is what caused us to be where we are. Again, like I said, it's not blaming Adam and Eve. It's Adam means man, Eve means woman. It would have been us too. That's what the Bible tells us. This week is the week where we must not be in danger 
by our pride. We didn't even hear, except in one small reference, what the feast day or what the theme of today is, which is the parable of the ten virgins. We heard it in the Sinai side for less than a second. That's about all we got. Maybe three. That's because the gospel that we're going to hear of the ten virgins should be read tomorrow morning in your sanctified liturgy. And if you read that gospel, if you have the opportunity, I don't know where you'll find it, but if you read that gospel, it starts not with the parable of the ten virgins. It doesn't finish with the parable of the ten virgins either. It starts with the idea of humility and repentance and ends with like a thief in the night. Actually, it starts with a thief in the night and ends with Matthew 25. And every passage in there is about how you will be caught off guard if you have not repented. Why does the thief come in the middle of the night? Because he knows the master is not watching, says that gospel. And if the master knew the thief was coming, he would have watched his house wouldn't have been broken into, says Jesus. Then he says another one, the parable of the ten virgins. If the, if the wise virgins, if the foolish virgins would have known the bridegroom was coming, they would have brought extra oil. But they didn't know when he was coming. Therefore, we must be watchful in that parable. The next parable after that is the parable of the talents. If the foolish servant with one talent, with one talent or one thousand talents would have known the master was coming back, he would have done something with those with that thousand talents. But he didn't know when the master was coming back. And the gospel continues tomorrow morning to the to the parable to the parable, not the parable, but the story of when of where we started in Judgment Sunday. God separating the nations like a shepherd separates the sheep. The goats. And if the goats would have known that Christ was coming at that point and what he wanted, they would have seen Christ in their neighbor and repented and did the things that Christ was asking them for them to do. Why is this verse this week? Why are these themes this week? Wake us up. Because we go through most of our life spiritually asleep. So wake us up. So that we can see the right of God. So that we can prepare ourselves for His coming into this world. It may not be pretty. means not everyone is going to get in. Or else why would you not? You would just open the door. Let us not be those people. Let us use this opportunity this week to repent. Let us understand that this, even as a last dish effort from our Lord, is to bring all of us regardless of whether we think we're proud or not, to repentance and to the right view and love of our Savior. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is good to confess to the Lord, to sing to his name, O Most High, to proclaim your mercy, to, to, to proclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth at night. Lord have mercy.
That is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Spirit now and forever to the ages of ages. Consider this your final hour, O wretched soul. Be frightened by how the fig tree was cut down, and therefore with diligence cultivate the talent that has given you. Being vigilant and crying out, let us not be left out of the wedding hall of Christ. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos. You do be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Blessed is he who is Christ, our God, always, now, and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Heavenly King, uphold the rulers, strengthen the faith, calm the nations, give peace to the world, protect this holy church, and grant our departed fathers and brethren that they may dwell with the righteous and accept us in repentance and confession for you are good and love and God. This time we have a Lenten prayer of Saint from the Syrian, so uh, you are welcome to find a place in the side of center aisle since it has, comes with the prostrations. If you are not able to make prostrations, uh, please bow as far as you can uh, for each stanza of this prayer. O Lord and Master of my life, do not permit the spirit of laziness and melody, lust of power and idle talk to come in. But grant to me, your servant, the spirit of prudence, humility, patience, and love. Yes, Lord and King, give me the power to see my own faults and not to judge my brother. You are blessed to the ages of ages. Yes, Lord and King, give me the power to see my own faults, not to judge my brother. You are blessed to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God and our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May he who is coming to his voluntary passion for our salvation, Christ our God, in the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life giving cross, protection beyond the marvelous powers of heaven, the supplication beyond the glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, holy glorious and praise for the apostle, holy glorious and tried the martyrs of the venerable God, the ascetic fathers, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy martyr, Kaliopius, of the, our father among the saints, Patriarch, Tikhon of Moscow, and the lightener of North America, of the Holy Righteous Father, Sabas, the New of Cavanos, of George, the of Lesbos, whose memory commemorated today, and of all the saints of mercy, wants to save us, for his good and merciful God of us, and come. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, the God of mercy upon us, and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity be blessed, protect, and keep all of you. God bless you. Thank you for your chanting choir. Uh, thank you for your chanting, George. Uh, this evening, it is good to have you uh, back into our uh, sanctuary, chanting and being with us. Uh, and for all of you, uh, we have two more bridegroom services. I know the, the one on Wednesday is kind of forgotten about because we're used to function sometimes. Uh, but we will have two more bridegroom services uh, on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday night, at least they're called bridegroom services on Wednesday night. Um, and then, of course, we will continue with the Mass at 7 o'clock every evening this week. Um, more services, are, of course, will be happening throughout the week, uh, but we will go and see all of you tomorrow night as well. Please come forward to uh, better that.